good way of making money on naval action is to get some AI ships, capture them and sell them on. This includes trader ships. A trader's brig, for example, can be sold for around 100k per ship in KPR. They're a little boat which any player can get even if you don't have much crew. So this works for everybody and is a good way to start. An LGV, which is what this ship is here, I'm not sure what I can get for that personally on the market, but it'll be a good amount. With it being a trader, anybody can take these out, all you have to do is sit on the arse and slow it down. Once you've slowed it down, however, you must make sure that you have more crew than the enemy ship, otherwise the AI does, does lots of funky things and tends to screw you over. If you have more crew than the AI when you board, it is much more predictable, so it is much easier to win the boarding. You want to try and get a few stern rakes in. So this is also good practice for PvP. Got a few nice ones in there. 18 went in. See the structure has been demolished from that one broadside. And the crew has also been hit quite hard. Try and get in as many stern ranks as you can without sinking the ship. I'm trying to go for a load of chain now. You want to be doing this from bow to stern if possible. Not enough mass tits unfortunately on that one, but even, even so, their sales now are 89%, so they will be slowing down. AI traders always sail away from you, so if you do not engage them on the side of their ship, they cannot hit you and will and you will not take any damage, so this is risk free almost. So if you're fairly new to the game or just fancy an uh, easier experience for a small time, get some traders you can still make a lot of money doing this easily word of advice if you're going for traders make sure that your BR is lower than theirs as this will help you in terms of being ganked from an enemy player if you wish to do this alone another load of chain in there still have it demastered not got the mast shots Personally, I've never been the best at demasting, but I've still got 13 mast hits on there. Somehow one of them hasn't hit. The damage must have just been spread about. we go for another stern rake. Little high on that. Never mind. Plenty of mast hits there. Still haven't took one down. Must admit, I am using this opportunity as well to get my demasting skill up a bit as that is one of my weak points this can also be done for you as well for newer players who are practicing or you want or older players which are just trying to spice up their skill range returning players you may be surprised now that the game has changed again uh, if you've not been on for a while I would strongly advise getting used to the game again six more mast hits still hasn't gone down actually quite surprising there ideally if you're going to be trying to do boarding actions you're going to want to get carronades on there as they do the most crew damage the ship I'm using is the Pandora this is a DLC ship it's just easier for me it, this ship is actually equipped with lots of little two pound cannons you can't really see them on here oh there they are swivel guns excellent for boarding actions Demastered, finally. Took some time. This ship is now not going anywhere. That was actually a load of ball that went in, so ball does damage masts as well. Which is very nice to know. Chain does do the most damage though, however. There was an update at one time which stated that ball will no longer do damage to masts, but obviously that is not the case. Literally going to try and just stay on its arse now. Get little two pounders in. Get that crew down to below mine. I want a little bit more leeway first. 
Bear in mind, if you get too close to the enemy ship and it has more crew than you, it will attempt to board you. Not my best one, but never mind. I've got great loaded on the starboard side. I will be trying to go for one more stern rake with grape. That should be then enough. I'm going to start getting my boarding crew ready as well. When you are getting ready for boarding, I strongly advise you turn off, you turn off your other cannons which you don't need. For me, this is F5. See how it's gone to an R at the bottom? That means they're going to stop reloading that gun. Nothing, unfortunate. And uh, it means the crew then can then go on other things. You want to make sure your prep is up as much as possible. Mine's now reaching 100%. Yeah, that was a fluke. Accidents happen. That was a good one. Took 19 crew out in that one. That was just the six um, swivel guns. Looped it. So yeah, you get the idea. Try and slow it down. Do some damage to it. Don't stay on the sides of it. And it will not hurt you. Get the crew down a little bit. Then go for the board. Before you board, make sure that your boarding crew is at 100%. So in this case, it is 112 crew for me. When you're doing great shot, try and aim for the upper deck. That is where you do the most damage. This now, I'm going to attempt to spin them around or slow them down a bit more. I'm actually wind shadowing them at the moment. I'm going to want to try and get my guns down upon it for when boarding happens. If I end up going too quick, I'll overshoot and I don't want that. If you can, before boarding, get your cannon set up on the side which is going to be aiming at the enemy ship. You want most of them, if possible, to be hitting their uh, their deck. As you can see, they've now just tried to shoot me as I am alongside them. I'm going to try and slow them down. I'm going to go full sails to take all of their wind. However, I'm also going to be putting my sails parallel to the wind to slow me down as well. Just like that, I can now board. So with boarding now, you want to be turning all your men off the sails and the guns. Do not need that. Whatever you do, make sure that you do not press any repairing as this will take away the crew that you need for boarding. So AI, as you can see, they have less crew than me, which is wonderful. I'm just going to brace as the enemy will probably go for a musket fire. No, five grenades. Okay, so in this you will see what the AI does continuously. I'm just going to leave it on brace. While that's doing, you can use the bracket keys to fire your guns. Left bracket. There you go. Hurts them. I didn't do that much crew damage there, as the right armor is still high. Ideally, I would have boarded them with my cannons uh, at their stern. So the enemy are fannying around a bit. They're probably going to go for another... Yeah, looking at that, they're going to go for another fire grenade, I think. Yeah, there you go. You can tell what they're going to do by the musket and the firepower and such. So if I press fire grenade, you can see my stats change. Oh, they're actually attempting to disengage. I do believe they are now going to defend. If you can, when they defend, you make sure you go on musket fire. It hurts their morale. Now, as you can see, the AI is very predictable. So if I go on the attack, you will probably see. There you go, you see that? That changed. They are now on defense. To counter defense, musket fire is usually pretty good. Right now, they aren't on defense. If you press attack at the last second, look at that, I've just killed 19 of their crew. 
Their morale is really down. They are now on defence, and you can tell because melee is high. So, musket volley is pretty good against defend. There you go. Hurt them again. Do the broadsides. Try and get more crew damage on there. I did a total of seven on that one. Now I'm just going to let my preparation go up slightly. This is why it's so important to make sure your boarding crew is at maximum while boarding as preparation increases quicker. Did another sneaky one in there. They run five grenades. You can tell because the musket just goes up a bit. I did a last second attack and that's really hurt them. They are now on defend which I do not want to go against with an attack. So you press brace. They are currently on... Uh, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, brace. They're still on brace. If they are going to stay on brace, I'm going to see how a fire grenade does against it. Or I can even attack at the last second, but I can't yet, as I need more preparation. I have no mods on this ship at all to speak of. So anybody can do this. Now my preparation is quite high. It looks like they are going to be on a brace or a... Yeah, it can't be a fire grenade yet as they need another turn. As you can see, it's every three that they tend to do this. So their next move may well be fire grenades, in which case an attack is excellent against. This will probably finish them off. Oh, not quite. They have one morale left. There you go. Despite this, do not stay on attack as their defense beats your attack. You'll never win like that. So they've gone defend, they've gone for a musket volley. I'm just going to wait again for the preparation to go up. It can be very frustrating when they are on one morale. The only way you can really beat that uh, with no upgrades or anything is if you do the patient way like what I'm doing here. Because if they press defend, when you are on attack, they will beat you. I don't think I will. Oh, I do. There you go. I had enough there to do another attack. And I have now captured the ship. Superb. Easy peasy. I haven't really lost any crew. Let's have a quick look. Ah, lovely. A lot of doubloons. Tools, they sell nicely. I'm going to take this ship, stick 20 crew on it, it doesn't matter. Confirm, that is now mine. No point sinking it if you can sell it. I'm going to take it back to port. Before you do, good practice is to make sure that this is your, um, ah, if you've not done this before, this is where it shows your friendly ships that you can control. You can click on an enemy ship and press demast or destroy and they will seek to go and attack that ship. Good practice, however, is to make sure that your friendly ship has left the instance before you leave the battle yourself. As if for whatever reason you leave and your ships cannot leave, then you will lose that ship automatically. So always make sure you press retreat first and it will disappear just like that. So that ship was currently around Pittstown. If you're wondering, this is currently, as you can see, a Great Britain port. I do apologise that it is night time. <laughs> I turned the brightness up, but there's nothing I can do about that. Pittstown is good for fifth rates and such. As you can see, there's lots of pirate ports around, and it's a fairly quiet area. Once you get in port, those doubloons, make sure you put them in the money chest. The goods which are here, put them in the warehouse. Those were what were on the LGV. Then you're going to make sure you sell them. Go into the shop, resources, trading. Here we go. Now, I reckon if trading works the same way as that it used to do, these are from the port which we have actually just... Um, gone too so these will not sell for very high however you can still make a bit of money there's 20 grand there 40 grand there 
and another 10 grand there. So 70 grand, 70,000 reels. And all you've done is take that ship. You've taken no damage. I've, you don't need any repairs for if you're doing that. Um, if you are just going for the AI traders. If you are going for combat ships, the process is exactly the same. The different benefits are instead of getting trading resources, which you then can sell, you get upgrades, which you can either use or sell again for more money. I would, however, advise bringing some hull repairs and rig and a bit of rum if you are going for proper combat, as you will need them as the AI will fight back, obviously, if it's a combat ship. Just remember, AI trader ships just sail away downwind. The process of boarding, however, is exactly the same if you were to take on these other combat ships. That ship you've now captured, nothing special. I'm going to teleport that ship down to where I know I can sell it, which is the home port, as that is going to still be the main hub for all of your nations doing so transporting this ship costs 10,000 reels, but I've already made 70,000 reels, so that is fine. I'm going to teleport myself to Kingston. This uses up seven doubloons. That also depends on your rank. Just make sure you always have a little stash of doubloons on you at all times in your chest. Before you can sell it, take the guns off. Personally, I've been using medium guns and that's about it. Uh, I will be using carronades when I feel like it, but at the moment I'm just using mediums, so I'm just going to keep hold of them. If you're a newer player, it might be worth you doing the same, as it means that you don't have to buy more for another ship. Before you sell the ship itself, make sure you have a quick look at the prices. Open up the ship auction. Five, three to four slot, have a look. Best way is to click... Oh, it doesn't work anymore, never mind. So currently there aren't any LGVs here for sale. There's lots of Trincomalees, which people splash out for fun. I'm having a look at this. Uh, the sixth rate, there's Trader Snells for sale. Trader's Briggs. Oh, no, Mortar Briggs. All the Trader Briggs have sold. But yeah, good money here. Just a good example. Easy ships to ca capture. Trader's Snow is just another small ship. You can take that easily if you don't have much crew. The even easier ones are the Trader's Brigs, but they're not on here currently for sale as people like to use them a lot. They hold more capacity than the Snow, so people are more preferable towards them. LGVs are going to be the same. If you do happen to come across a Indianman permit, then you could probably sell that for quite a bit of money as you need permits for every ship in the game now, but an LGV, I reckon I can sell that for easily 100k, or even I might be cheeky and have a look at 150 grand. So just remember when you're putting it on, you're going to need a little bit of money first. Excuse that, don't know what happened there. Something to do with the numpad. There you go. 150 grand. Commission, they take 15 grand, which is quite annoying, so I'm going to put that up to 164. There you go. That way I get 150 grand. Put on sale. Make sure there's no cannons and things on it. Done. There you go. I will probably get that money for that, and all I've done is float around in a little boat. Excellent. Easy way to make money. The process is exactly the same if you're using combat ships. You will probably make more money capturing combat ships. Just having a quick look. Yeah, prime example. Fourth rate. Agamemnon's and Connie's and things. Easily. Quarter. Well, you can see there for yourself. Lots of money. Going up to the, the big ships now. That victory is relatively cheap. Let's have a quick look. Oh, that's why it's bloody awful. So yeah, second rates here, you know, 600 grand, easy way to make money. At all skill levels and at all ranks, you can make some really good money doing this. If you want money, it also gets you experience, you get lots of upgrades, and also, the ships that you capture, you could also use for yourself. So it's a win-win-win.
you get free bolts or you can make a lot of money doing it. I hope you have fun uh, in the game. Happy sailing. See you in the next video.